Hey Sugars, this is S. Woman Sugar, and welcome to my channel. I encourage you to like, comment, and subscribe, or feel free to bitch Monica Plain. It's all sugar. But whatever you do, make sure you hit that belly bell so you can get the latest notifications, okay? Let's chat about Miss Little Miss Blue Ivy's looks. What is really bothering the media about Little Ivy, uh, Little Blue Ivy's looks? Is it the fact that she's not more mixed looking like her mother, Beyonce, being as Beyonce's parents are a Creole descent? Her mother is very fair skinned and her father is a dark skinned um, black African-American man. And the mother has Creole mixed featured look, which is the results of uh, Beyonce. And Little Blue Ivy father is Jay-Z, which he has definitely African-American Negroid features. Is that really the problem? Is the, is the attack on the fact that Blue Ivy looks like a regular looking black girl? Is that what it's really about? That she looks like a regular looking black girl? Is it really? Are you guys using Blue Ivy as an excuse to make an attack on us black girls that don't look mixed? Is that it? See, that, them black features is, is a sign of strength, and that's what y'all don't like. You need something mixed up in there to make you feel comfortable. And Blue Ivy has Negroid features, and she look like a black girl, and y'all don't like that. Because, see, everybody wants something that looks like a little bit of them, if you know what I mean. The majority wants somebody to look like them so they can feel a little more comfortable. But that doesn't mean the discrimination stopped there because you look a little more like them. But it makes them feel a little more comfortable. Is that it? Blue Ivy looks like a regular looking black girl. And it's, uh, it's a lot of hate against the regular looking black girl out here. Nobody likes the regular looking black girl features. Hence, that's why a lot of these regular looking black girls are trying to look like somebody else. Let's talk about that. Blue Ivy is okay with blue, who Blue Ivy is. And now y'all can't stand that either. She is a reflection of her mother and her father, as she should be. Some of us want children that looks like us. Some of us want to reproduce us. And we're fine with it. That's what the look we were going for. The reproduce little us. My daughter looks like me and my son looks like my husband. And we wouldn't have it no other way. We love it. The problem is y'all want children that look like somebody else down the street. As long as the world say they cute and they hair's a little looser, skin is a little lighter and creamier. That's what you going for, huh, sugar? Because you don't like nobody to criticize that you look like a little regular little black girl and a regular looking black boy. We don't gotten so comfortable with regular looking black people. Can't stand to see themselves and they they knock they dog the hell out of each other on the media. And then we wonder why somebody say something about Blue Ivy, a regular looking black girl. People saying stuff about little regular looking black girl and boys all day. Little regular looking black boys. They want to go with somebody that looks totally different so they don't produce no other looking regular little black girls or black boys. Come on now, let's really talk about it. Regular looking black girls, they going with somebody other so they don't produce somebody that look like them. Somebody who's skin too dark, who get nappy headed jokes, who get black spook jokes. So the world can't figure out why Blue Ivy don't look the way they think she should look? Oh, Beyonce should have got with somebody that looked a little more creamier, a little more persuasive. Is that what it is? And she got with a whole looking Negroid. Is that what it is? Beyonce got with a guy, Jay-Z, that has strong Negroid features and it produced a black child. Blue Ivy is like many of the rest of us growing up. I don't see nothing wrong with it. What is the damn problem? The problem is a lot of you regular looking black people don't want to look black anymore. And the media don't caught on. They think it's okay to talk about our babies any old way because it's Tuesday. That's because y'all running around not comfortable with how you look. And you trying to look like somebody else. I don't want to hear nothing about that. Oh, I'm just doing something different. You doing something different every day. Different seem to be more your usual instead of your norm. 
of being you. So how can we be surprised when people say little slick sh- out their mouths? Because they don't think we regular looking black girls enjoy looking like black girls. That's why they always got something to say about that little Miss Sugar. They always got something to say. Because they think we don't want to reproduce ourselves because that's a reflection of little us that's walking around. And they think that's not what we want to see. But guess what, media? It's a whole lot of us reproducing us. And there's a whole lot of us little us that's walking around like Blue Ivy. And they culture little black children. Okay? And they know who they are. You may not see those on TV, but guess what? We out here. A lot of us black parents are raising black excellence and they look like little regular black kids with Negroid features. Okay, so for all of you out there in the media land that think they only looking like the Kim Kardashians and the Kardashian little mixed kids and all that. uh uh-uh. It's a whole lot of us regular looking black people that's reproducing regular looking black excellence. And our regular looking black kids are fine with who they are and they strong and they got a strong family. That love them just as Blue Ivy and her parents love her. So y'all tried it. Y'all need to stop trying it. Because guess what? It's a whole lot of regular looking black girls out here that's, that's doing big things. And they producing little regular looking black girls and boys. Regular looking black people are doing some big things. Yeah, you don't see it, media, because media, you only want to see what you want to see. You only want to see what you deem beautiful. You only want to see what you deem important. But there's a whole world out here. Our children are traveling the world. They're doing all kinds of things. No longer sitting in a project, frolicking around, waiting for a park lunch. So y'all talk about Blue Ivy, but that's black excellence right there, baby. That little sugar is going to be something. She got more culture in her. She's a boss at her young, tender age more than any of you will ever be. So congrats to Miss Blue Ivy and her Negroid features. Welcome to the club of regular looking black girls. You are black excellence, baby girl. And we love it. All right, sugars. Y'all keep on having y'all being regular looking black girls. There's nothing wrong with it. We are the exoticals now, the regular looking black girls. How about that? And tell it like it is. All right, sugars. Love and smooches from us. Take care and stay regular. All right. Holla. Bye bye.